हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो येस्टरडे वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द कैप्टिव ब्रीडिंग ऑफ एनिमल्स टूडे अगेन कंटिन्यूइंग विद द सेम प्रोसेस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सॉफ्ट एंड द हार्ड रिलीज ऑफ एनिमल्स सो इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच माई प्रीवियस वीडियो फर्स्ट प्लीज डू वॉच द प्रीवियस वीडियो देन आफ्टर रेफर टू दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो बिकॉज दिस टू आर आई कैन से कनेक्टेड some sort of so there are two basic types of the release that is hard that is direct type and the soft that is gentle or a gradual release so in captive breeding program we have seen that we have to cap found a, a founder population then uh, maintain in captivity and then release it that is the reintroduction phase so the reintroduction phase include two types first is the soft and the second is the hard that is how an animal is released into its natural habitat the way or the method through which it is released so first is the hard release so it is one in which an animal is simply allowed to exit a transport container or is let go from the hand with no further care or feed provision so basically after uh, maintaining in the captivity we have to bring a particular animal uh, in a certain place in its natural habitat and then release it from the container and also if we can say it is also being let go from the hand simply if it is a small animal this method of release is generally easy for the rehabilitator in terms of the time effort and cost why because it is simply releasing of the animal it doesn't require any time any effort in caring of that particular animal and any cost for that particular animal so it is most appropriate for the animals which have been held in captivity for only a short time why a for a short time because they are not much adapted to that captivity uh, we can say for a better duration so for adult animals and for the animals that are being released back into their own territory that is first priority is that is for those animals that are only for a short time so that they are not much adapted second is for the adult animals because adult animals have uh, we can say lived or spend most of their life in their natural habitat so they are adapted to that and for the animals that are being released back into their own territory so that they have uh, known about their territory they know the places they know the boundaries and all the uh, resources food resources water resources there so they does not possess any problem again reintroducing their own natural habitat they do not have much problem in the adaptation so it is least appropriate for juveniles which have been hand reared and particularly species for which learning about their environment or the social skills are important so basically juveniles have less experience of their natural habitat because they are basically hand reared or they may spend most of their times in the captivity for them uh, this is the better place that is to not uh, let them in the process of hard release they are suitable for soft release process and also it may also be inappropriate for adults which have been maintained in captivity for prolonged period that is they are now adapted to captivity only and or are being released at a site that is distant from their original location so two condition first is they have adapted in the captivity and again when they are released they are released not in their natural habitat but another location that is not their original location so this is not appropriate that is hard release is not appropriate for those kind of animals then coming to the next that is the soft release of animals so it involves the continuing care for the animals at the release site that is after the release process care should be required or given to that animal particularly backup feeding should be required then it requires a greater commitment of time that is much time and care should be given to that animal and effort then does the hard release so in what in hard release in hard release simply we have to release the animal there is no time and the cost effort 
बट हेयर टाइम इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड ऑल्सो एफर्ट इज रिक्वायर्ड सो इट इज पर्टिकुलरली इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर हैंड रियर्ड एनिमल्स दैट इज एनिमल्स विच हैव गिवन टेकन केयर अंडर मोस्ट केयर then particularly of the species which need to learn about their surroundings for example the food sources or less learn the survival skills of such as hunting the basically small animals we can say the uh, juveniles which do not know how to obtain the food or how to do hunting so basically in case of those animals soft release is required to teach them those skills and adapt help them to adapt to their natural environment again it is also suitable for animals which have been in care for prolonged period normally we can say for prolonged period they have adapted to that situation so soft release is required to help them again adapt to their natural condition because they have uh, acquired the um, basically we can say features that are required for the captive process only captive breeding only they are less adapted for the natural habitat so soft release is required for that also soft release may compensate for the difficulties of newly released animals finding the food and the shelter particularly a new environment and or at a time of a reduced physical fitness or a stamina that is when a, we can see animal is some sort of weak or it requires some care then soft release is helpful and also uh, if when it is introduced in a new environment then the chances of finding the food and shelter are less so soft release is also helpful in there because their animals or we can say the caretakers do all the work with their time and the efforts soft release may encourage the site fidelity and homing behavior reducing the unwanted dispersal and also enhance the cohesion of the social groups so in case of we can say soft release there are more chances of formation of social groups because the caretakers generally take care of the animals in the group so that it is easy for them also it gives the time for the individuals being released to make the necessary behavioral adjustments which will assist them in surviving the wild such as in foraging in locomotion etc so in soft release we can say time is given care is given to the animals so that they adjust to the new environment behaviorally and also in other features also so that they perform their daily natural activities it may enable the animals to recover from handling and transportation to the release site so that they have sufficient energetic reserves post release so so release is basically helpful in all these manners so this is a diagram showing the uh, duration of the time that is of animal since release in case of months and the survival percentage of that animal so here we can see these are all the soft release animals so here the chances of survival are high again these are wild caught plus the hard release that is they are hard release no matter what that is the cost of time and effort is low but they are wild caught that is they are adults so they can adapt again so here also chances of survival is high that is nearly 60% these are the captive reared but hard release that is captive reared they are juveniles they require soft release method but they are released by hard method so here chances of survival is less as we can see 20% and again all the hard release so here we can say hard release again the chances of survival are low that is these are the months 5 10 15 20 and 25 so this is all about the topic of the soft and hard release hope you will like my video and yeah if you like my video please do subscribe to my channel